This game is huge for both coaches and both programs. Nick and I expect one player to step up and provide us with one shining moment in today's third round game between the Prairie View A&M Panthers and the Oregon Ducks. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. Points of emphasis, Dick. What do you got for us? First off, when they shoot from the field, the other players must crash the board. It's a great opportunity for some easy point. Secondly, they must ensure that their point guards attack in transition. They can do so by passing ahead or pushing the ball via the dribble. Lastly, they'll need to press. Pressing will likely force the opposition into some trouble. And it's time for the tip off. Play ball, baby. Play ball. Receiver tosses it up. And we're underway. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Ball's kicked out from the post. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ten seconds to shoot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Up and in. Richardson receives the ball. On the dribble. Gives it up. Number one is called. He gets the foul and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. If you want to know how impressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Richard handles the feed. Cross court. around the trap. Right around the trap. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. They work it around the perimeter. The defender is still applying great wall pressure, Brad. Way off target. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you got to use that screen. Hey, how to dribble a use of the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. I wear a rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Now they're working around the perimeter. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Kicks it out. With anticipation defensively. Williams receives the pass. Execution on the spin. That's had a great spin move to the basket. A frustration right there. Dump it inside. Turn around jumper, grabs it. A 
as soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. He intercepts it. He wants it. He's asking for it on the low block, and they don't get it to him. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. One of the keys to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Had a little trap really well there, Brad. Goes up for two. The land. In terms of balanced teams, what might we expect from them game to game, Dick? I think when you have balance inside, outside scoring, tempo control, where you control the pace of the game, and that's what they try to do with their balance. They'll go fast, they'll go slow. They try to dictate tempo. Hey, dodge one there, Brian. Goes for the deep one. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. inside, steals the pass. They strip him in the basketball, got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. They'd like to get it inside to the low block, unable to, gets the rejection. Number 15 has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Emotionally, he needs some inspiration. on the shot clock. Off the rim and no good. Now work it around the arc. Here comes a pick. Hey, ball screens are such an important part of the game these days. Guys are so creative when it comes to using that ball screen. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Kicks it out. Second violation. Better watch your feet. Number 52 gets in on his first minutes tonight. Hey, this kid really knows how to keep the offense moving. Tremendous leader out there. Side of the floor, Brad. Kicks it out. The ball goes out of play. Number 32 set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. On the outside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Ten on the shot clock. Trying to feed the low block for two. Way off target. it up. been trying to get the team to play more up-tempo. The coaches feel that this is the style that they need to play and will work for them. 
definitely something for us to track moving forward, Brad. Thanks, EA, our third member of our team and our sideline reporter, keeping us up to date with what's taking place behind the scenes and around the bench. Good job, EA. Henry receives the ball. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He gets the rebound. Number 21 gets the pass. Cross court. Takes away the pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. With a little baby hook. They call three ticks. Got busted waiting for a screen. Patterson checks back in. Hey, yes, sometimes that quick breather can be the difference, Brad. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. That's, of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. to pass it despite the trap, Brad. Ten seconds to get it off. Now trying to feed the low block with a bucket. Off the rim and no good. Way off target. We'll be able to use their tempo and come out with a win here, Dick. Well, the all comes down to execution. If you get put points on the board playing your style, your opponent will have to make adjustments that may affect their tempo and what they will do well. Moving it around the perimeter. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper takes the board. Once you get that board, you got to be looking up court. for a good shot. Escape the trap. Looking for a good shot. Pull up jumper left side. Richardson pops back into the ball game after a well-deserved rest. Wow, he makes such an impact on his team when he's in the game. At both ends of the court, Brad. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. out there. This kid's got leadership skills just like you, Mr. Nestler. They go into the low block. Passes it out of the trap. He shoots from downtown. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. They're working around the perimeter. He goes up with it. Number 15 is whistled for the defensive foul. Steps up to the line. Gets that one. Misses the second shot. Sneed handles the pass. Up and inside! He makes 
the block. Ten seconds to put it up. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Richardson may have escaped one there. Cross court. With the fadeaway. Off the rim and no good. Williams receives the pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. The Ducks have 10 rebounds. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it through about a second early. Ellis receives the pass. Goes up for two. Number five is called for the defensive foul. First personal foul. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Yes, two with the charity strike. Basic. From the top of the circle. And it's in and out. Balance teams, Dick. What are some of the things that they'll try to accomplish when they step out on the court? Definitely, Brad. They prefer a more balanced style. Picking and choosing when to force the tempo and when to settle down in the half court. Cox receives the pass. Working it around the perimeter. Shoots, 10 seconds to get it off. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. For two, he might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Takes the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to put it up. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Up and in. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Way off target. For two, perfectly executed. And 
delivery. Handles the feed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. With the jump hook. Good second half effort, though. Great rebound. He doesn't get the hoop. Off the rim and no good. Pushes it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For two. Up and in. Gave it up. Intercepted. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Passes it out of the trap. The small forward gets the ball. Puts up the jumper. Missed it. Sneed handles the feed. On the outside. Richardson goes to the line for the first time. Misses his first shot. Second shot is no good. Nick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Side. For the bucket, the land. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Kicks it out. Goes up for two. Foul charge. Teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Pass. 
on the dribble gives it up jumper off the mark shot clock is dead Williams handles the pass trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing See what happens. At the end of the first half, the Ducks are trailing by 10. Let's revisit those points of emphasis, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. Their performance so far has got the coaching staff pretty upset. The lack of check marks says it all, Mr. Nestler. If they're not playing their style, it will hurt them. Okay, there you have it. One more half of basketball remains, and we'll see how the teams address these points of emphasis. makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Way off target. The point guard takes the feed. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Great pass out of the trap, Rob. They work it around the perimeter. Richardson may have escaped one there. Fade away. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots kill chemistry, Rod. Cross court. That spin move is not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Takes the pass in the paint or two, and there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunities. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. They will line him up. He misses his first shot. Both shots no good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Now they're working around the perimeter. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. He takes a three. They're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Pritchard receives the pass. Gave it up.
in on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper. That is a dagger in the heart. That shot did. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, right? Cross court. He goes for the trifecta. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. they got to get it going here. They work the perimeter. That spin move is not going to work against the defense I'll like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Ellis is feeling it right now. Brad, he's on fire. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. He drills it from downtown. They like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really did a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here comes the ball screen. He passes it out of the trap. Cross court. Picked off. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Intercepted. Here they go in transition. it in. Ten seconds to put it up. They'll work it around the arc. Picked out of the air. Richardson receives the pass. A little two-man action. Cross court. Picks off the lazy pass. They get out on the break. Patterson handles the feed. What should they do here, Dick? Let's call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Try to go inside. Good fake for the deuce. Perfectly executed. As we continue to track the game's tempo. The back and forth action is definitely the reason why we are getting that reading, Brad. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player, very difficult to block that shot. He dumps it in. With all sorts of time. Ellis receives the pass. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. With a bucket, off the rim, and no good. With a long bomb. For the bucket. Up and in.
And the low block. Goes up for two. The lane. On the outside. to make some substitutions. Some of these kids are tired. There's a look at the current tempo for the game. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. Jackson makes his first substitution. I think what I like about it, Brad, he brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Receives the ball. He buries the jumper. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Now the turnaround jumper. They take it off the defensive glass. And they've got to get out and fill the wings, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. the shot clock. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking for a good shot. seconds to put up a shot. Perfectly executed. Well, here's a look at the tempo for both teams tonight, Dick. You know, it's crucial, Brad, that both teams stick to their style of play. If not, the chances of them winning definitely decreases. Goes up for two. Yikes, misses the easy one. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Number 10 has come back in the game. Hey, this team easily comes apart without him out there, Brad. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Thanks, Erin. Number five checks back into the ballgame. Yeah, I knew they couldn't leave him out for too long. Can he hit the free throw and get the three-point play? Lots of rim, but not in. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Sees the ball. He wants a three. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. He gets the bucket to fall. 
Well, Dick, this would be a great candidate for our Pontiac game-changing performance right here. I said, take a look at great move attacking the basket, and better yet, a great candidate for our Pontiac game-changing performance. Henry receives the ball. Up and inside! Continue to force the action here, Dick. They're losing and they need some quick baskets. They'll have to be at their best in order to get back to this game, Brad. They may be equipped to play the tempo needed to win the game, but can they do it? Passes it out of the trap. The Panthers are going to try to hold on to the lead here, but should probably do so by playing in the half court as opposed to that up-tempo style, Dick. At this point, playing in the half court would be a wise move. They don't really need to score, but do need the time to come off the clock. That's basic. Picks off the lazy pass. Way off target. Up and in. The center handles the pass. Pushes it up. Turnaround jumper. He gets the board. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard with the ball. Baseline jumper. Sticks the deuce. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. with a baby hook. See, that's what I like, a good rebound. Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on Sports Center, but it helps your team. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Henry receives the ball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. a lot differently when he's in the game, Brad. Is that good or bad, Dick? You know? I think they play a lot more under control. Two seconds to get a shot off. He grabs the rebound. The point guard handles the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Escapes the trap. He wasn't afraid of that trap. Gave it up. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And to go up high with a shot.
with the free throw. Hits the first shot. He makes them both. Man might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. Pushes it up. They've got him right where they want him, Dick. Passes it out of the trap. That will trap really well there, Brian. For two, the Panthers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. We've got a timeout here. Get ready to resume the action. With a bucket. The land. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a fun deal. On the outside. Catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Missed the jumper. Hey, Dodge one there, Brian. Patterson receives the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, let's take a look at the bench performances so far. What do you think? I tell you, as a coach, the more you can get from your bench players, the better. Sometimes that's how you acquire a big lead. Games get interesting once your starters get tired, and it's time for the bench players to come in and be productive. Number 10 handles the feed. Goes up for two. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Adam... Momentary look from three-point land. And now there's a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you why, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Eludes the trap there. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Picked off. Length of the floor for two. Up for the lay-in. Gotta stop that triple penetration. Too many guys allowed to get to the rim. decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestle. Horrible shot selection. Gave it up. Hard foul. I think the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Opportunity now for an easy one. He misses the first. 
This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. A great trap initiated by the defense. Passes it out of the trap. Richard receives the pass. There is the deuce. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. A little half-court action, a little fast breaking, Brad. As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. It's a 10-point spread, Dick. Yeah, but 10 points can't be spread too thin, Brad. Ball coming in from the sideline. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Goes to the line for the first time. Misses the front end of the one and one. Timeout's called. Hey, the coach wants to just talk about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. Coming from the sideline. Escapes the trouble and makes a pass up. They're working around the perimeter. He takes the wide open shot. He claims the three-point attempt. And the clock stops with a foul. Receives the pass. For the bucket. Rims out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. Great defense. Richardson receives the ball. Tries for two. What are your final thoughts regarding some of our points of emphasis earlier in the game, Dick? Grant, it's all about solid game plan. Teams who come prepared and know what the important points are will be successful more times than not. Having skilled players on your roster helps, but by no means is it mandatory. Playing within yourself and your abilities is what it's all about. We say it time and time again. Let's check out today's top play, the Pontiac game-changing performance. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on, one team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball, they made sure they converted on the free throw line, they did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Prairie View A&M just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in that nation. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestle.
Always nice to be recognized as one of the players of the game. Hey, Brad, it's always as a player a great feeling to lead your team to the W, to that victory.